Hello, so I'm back and I'm all done with my three day fasting and woohoo! I am so excited, so happy that I accomplished this. I wasn't sure how we were gonna do. I wasn't sure if my husband was, was going to stick um, with it and I wasn't sure if I was gonna stick with it. Um, definitely felt like a roller coaster and it was definitely something that was very challenging but at the same time, challenging in a good way. And um, I'm already about three days after um, Friday. So pretty much uh, the last time we left off was I was eating with my friends and we were enjoying some sushi together with some girl time and that was me breaking my fast. So pretty much um, I felt good. I mean I had two rolls that night and I was pretty filled pretty fast. Um, came home and just felt like I didn't feel, felt good. I didn't feel like you know overly full or like if I ate something that was like really bad or anything like that. Um, I definitely felt like I needed the carbs, so the rice kind of helped, and I just basically, you know, got a really well balanced meal for myself. Um, I had the sushi or the um, the sashimi on top of the California roll, which is called the rainbow roll. So I had two of those, which is kind of a lot, but hey, I hadn't ate for three days, and my stomach really needed it and liked it, and the carbs felt great. So I came home and then um, went to bed with my husband. Woke up the next day and we had you know we started our normal weekend routine and so we basically both got up and felt like like i had felt like i got the best sleep i had gotten for a long time like i felt like my body got a really deep sleep um and like i was saying in my previous clips um i felt like my body had always been working through something i don't know really what it was um i just could tell like my body was definitely changing on a cellular level um i don't think it was like the placebo effect at all i just think that um i know my body really well and i know when it's definitely working on something um i wasn't starving the whole time um so i know it wasn't that um i was a little tired but i was just tired like if you know you're mechanically kind of tired um so in the long run i feel good and me and my husband we both definitely um are excited that we finished this together we've been talking about it ever since and we're like i can't believe like we did this but at the same time it was like a happy glad that we did it um we are already like a couple days out so i wanted to update um a couple days out because i wanted to tell you what i felt from the aftermath so the aftermath is um i basically feel like i have more energy i have been definitely sleeping deeper at night um i wake up in the morning i don't feel as tired as i normally do i feel like um i can fall asleep easier because i'm the type of person that has chatter in my brain because of so many things that i have to do and stuff like that and i just think um for whatever reason my body is just like girl we need to get to bed um let's just do this and let's knock out and so i've been definitely feeling like i can fall asleep faster and stay in a really deep sleep like i guess my daughter cried the other night my three-year-old delilah i didn't even hear her my husband got up and like tended to her because he's such a great dad and i just knocked out and then in the morning he was like you didn't hear the baby she was like screaming all night and i was like no i was like knocked out <laughs> and um knocked out in like a good way not because i was like super tired and all that stuff. I just was like in a really, really good sleep and have been sleeping that way for the past couple days. Um, what else? Oh, so I didn't really do this to lose weight, but obviously you're gonna lose weight from um, fasting, from basically not eating. So my starting weight was like, I don't know, I can't remember if it was like 110 or maybe like 111, one of the two, um, definitely probably towards the 111 mark. Um, and I weighed myself this morning and I weighed 106 pounds um, and seven ounces. So that was um, a bit of a surprise because it's already been three days later and I've still been able to maintain that weight, um, still eating the same, haven't really changed anything. And so I guess maybe that broke me out of my like five vanity pounds that I've been wanting to lose that have been, just been like clinging to me. And so that was kind of a fun surprise. And again, I wasn't um, expecting to like, I, mean, I expected to lose weight, but I also expected to gain it like right back the next day once I started eating normally and drinking like water and all that good stuff. So, um, so yeah, so far it's been pretty good. I do feel like I get full faster. Um, so I feel like my appetite um, regulation hormones have kind of balanced back. And I feel like my brain now knows like, oh Arlene, you're kind of like, you're full now, your stomach is full so you can stop eating. And I definitely feel like that's um, kind of helped out too. Um, so the benefits that I feel like I have as of right now from this three day prolonged fasting is definitely more energy, um, I feel like my hunger regulating hormones are very well balanced right now 
and I'm not craving anything. Like I was not craving any crazy sweets this whole past weekend. I mean, um, I was just like feeling on a really good high. So I was shocked because I was like, dude, because I've heard that before that people get like this really, you know, like support type of energy and blah, blah, blah. And I don't want to say it's like super crazy, but I just feel like it's pretty good. Like I feel like I just ran a marathon and had like this great success. Like that's, that's the feeling that you kind of have because, um, it's definitely an up and down roller coaster those three days. Um, like, you know, I was waking up with heart palpitations. I was kind of sweaty. I was feeling out of it. And then the you know middle of the day, my energy levels would come back up and I would feel like I can do this. I can get through this. And then, you know, towards the evening it would kind of go back into a slump again. And then, so it was just kind of like a roller coaster of energy, high energy, low energy. But for me, I didn't really get too many hunger pains and I think the bone broth really helped. So I do suggest that um, you do sip on something for the prolonged fasting if you're just doing a 24 hour fast. Um, you probably don't really need to. Like I didn't have any broth for the first 24 hours. Um, but I think after that, you're gonna probably need that just because bone broth is so nutrient dense. There's so many benefits to it and your body will kind of need those extra vitamins that the bone broth has and it's really low calorie. So you're not gonna really like break your fast all crazy. I've read a couple things about it, different articles and I feel comfortable um, drinking bone broth within like that three day fast. Um, but that's totally up to you. Um, I don't see that it hurts. I don't see that it breaks my fast. It doesn't raise my insulin levels. Um, and I just felt like my body really needed it at that time to get through everything. Um, my husband also feels the same way too. He's like, um, Arlene, this kind of was shitty, but at the same time, it was like good. Like I'm happy that we did it and he's happy that he did it. Um, he definitely feels like he has so much more energy. Um, his weight loss was like, I think seven pounds or something like that. Um, which I mean, he's already gaining it back, but, um, but he definitely, but he also worked out. So he was able to work out. Um, he didn't do crazy workouts, but he did work out every single day. Um, he works out in his, on his lunch break and he had his broth. So he had like a little bit more broth than I did. So he'd have some in the morning and then he'd have some for lunch and then he'd get dinner. Um, but he's bigger than me. He's a man. So I feel like that was good for him. Um, I would have broth, you know, twice a day max. Um, so yes, definitely do the bone broth. And if you can't make it, then there's definitely good companies out there. I heard there's Kettle and Fire. Um, I wish I can send what you mine. I would love to, but I don't know how to do all that. Um, but there's some in the store that you can buy, but the cheapest way to do it is just make your own. And like I said, follow my um, video tutorial that I have on my YouTube channel and also a blog post about that. So um, you can find that information there. Um, I'll try to link maybe something that I can find on Amazon um, that you can maybe buy a box broth or something just to, you know, get you through for a couple days. Um, but yeah, so that's my update. Um, I feel really good. I feel like, you know, my muscle gains are pretty good. Um, I just have really good things to say about it. And I think I'm going to do this again. I'll probably do it, you know, maybe like twice a year just for a good cleanse give my metabolism a little um, up boost and give my cells a nice um, refreshing. There's a lot of things um, that are really great for the, for bone or for fasting. Um, definitely helps with cell turnover. So if you're some, somebody that's fighting inflammation, that's um, maybe you just got out of chemotherapy or you just got a diagnosis of cancer, um, medical disclaimer, I am not a doctor and I can't sit there and say that fasting is gonna cure everything. But if you do have issues like diabetes, um, anything like that, maybe any autoimmune diseases. Um, it's definitely something you'd want to look into. Like I said, my husband has arthritis. Um, he has some gut issues. He said that his stomach was feeling better. He kind of gave his digestive tract a nice break. By the way, now that I think about it, number twos have been very good. Um, I'm talking about the best number twos that this little lady has been having here now they haven't been little but they've been really really good so that's another thing that my digestion was just really good after i didn't really have bowel movements um during the fasting but like between the time that i stopped and now i've been really regular which i usually am but i just feel like they're very like woo, just flushing on out and just good, good sizes. <laughs> so um, my digestion and my bowels are really loving it. So um, I just, yeah, it helped me overall and it helped my husband overall and it just can't hurt to try it. It's not gonna kill you. 
I'm still alive, he's still alive. Um, we are not like malnutritioned and you know, not having like all of our great vitamins and minerals and all that stuff because half the time on the standard American diet, you are not even getting all the minerals and nutrition that you want. So even a person who's eating 24 hours out of the day, you know, seven days a week and never fasted before, doesn't mean that, that they're getting all the nutrients that they need. So sometimes that could be food for thought, you know, and just giving your body a good break and giving your cells the chance to just get rid of all the bad and let's start with the new. So, um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions at any time, feel free to email me. Um, you can um, reach me through my blog. You can reach me through my comments here. If you have any questions, if you want to talk with me over the phone, I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, because I just definitely feel like this experience was just amazing. I don't want to say if it's life changing as of yet, but I do think, do think it's life changing in the sense that it is something that I'm going to be adding to my um, routine like you know a couple times out of the year maybe every quarter just do a three-day fast or, or a, a 42 hour fast but um, I basically do feel like this is something that you know I will do within my lifetime and keep doing it because it's just so great and then there's just so many benefits from it it's like just why not you know I always have like the philosophy of um, right now is our retirement so we're basically working on our 401k right now when it comes to our health and our wellness and so if I want to be this old grown-up granny then I basically basically got to start taking care of myself. I got to start banking all my health now because when I'm older, it's going to pay off and I'm going to have less medical bills. I'm going to be that granny that can run after her kids and go on these trips to, you know, see the world with my family because that's what's going to happen to me. And, you know, I want to be healthy for that. And so in order for me to be healthy, I have to think about now. And so I have to put all my 401k into my health um, account, like, like now and so um that way when i'm older i can enjoy my life and so if it makes you think about it and turn off that switch in your head and and kind of look at it in that sense then basically look at it like that you are banking on your health retirement right now and right now is the time to do it because tomorrow could be too late 10 years can be too late and so you might as well just do it now because the future is totally worth it and for me it's totally worth it and i'm excited that i just decided to dive in and do this with my husband and we did it together and we conquered this um fast so that we're going to be healthier for our kids and our grandkids and just enjoy life so once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for um, coming along with me on this journey. I really, 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 really enjoy all the support that I get from all of you guys from watching to all my subscribers. And once again, if you really like this, um, please feel free to share it. You can add it to your watch later so that maybe um, there's a little button on the bottom that says um, watch later. Add it to that so whenever you are going to decide to do your fasting, you can just have this video to kind of like guide you and, you know, go off of it and save it for later whenever you need it. Um, but definitely um, save this video because there's some good helpful tips that I basically went out there searching for and then I didn't find it all in one, one little like, you know, episode or whatever. So this is just a day in the life of a normal mom doing it and um, some tips for you. And so, you know, please like and subscribe if you really uh, like my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. And thanks again for watching and have a great day. Ciao.